guys happy monday and welcome back to the weekly vlog i as you can see i'm just getting ready to go on a run this morning it's currently like 10 15 and yeah i've just warmed up on my bike we had a bit of a lighter week last week in terms of running so if you do follow me on strava that's why i wasn't so active on there just because i literally wasn't running as much but you know sometimes your body just needs a bit of rest and i'm all about finding that balance you know and the optimal training routine it's gonna be kind of a busy week i feel i know i'm gonna have a lot that comes up each day this week like new stuff's gonna appear so whilst on monday and looking at my weekly plan it doesn't seem too busy i know that i have to like schedule things in find actual times for things but yeah i hope you enjoyed the weekly vlog give it a thumbs up if you do as usual and i will see you when i get back from my run so my monday runs to start the week are usually easy runs which means i'm trying to keep my heart rate low and i'm not running for any particular time or to hit a certain pace and then when i got back i just did some strength training as well on my yoga mat before i just made myself a classic holly green smoothie and for the rest of monday i was at my desk and doing behind the scenes types of stuff admin emails proofreading for example for Gemia. as i've said before i'm usually quite over ambitious on mondays with what i can get done on my to-do list but i'd like to think that it sets my week off on the right foot and it's usually pretty productive on a monday hey guys good morning happy tuesday i don't know why i haven't opened my blinds yet this morning um but i've just been at my desk doing loads of emails, made a thumbnail. And you know what I was doing yesterday? I was actually putting clothes aside. I was basically trying to decide what I would take with me traveling, clothing wise. I'm filming a recipe type TikTok thing. I like doing these things where I find viral TikTok recipes and then I recreate the recipe. And often the recipes are really good. So yeah, I'm doing that this morning for my breakfast. I'm just mashing a banana, getting everything ready so I can film the TikTok, the full, recipe and the video will obviously be on my tiktok this is what we're currently doing just filming this is my cookie thing which looks so good i'm putting it in the air fryer for 10 minutes this is my cookie i'm just waiting for it to cool which is so annoying it's taking ages this is my air fryer by the way it's like this tower brand one i got it last year for vlogmas it's so good it was so inexpensive as well i have a link to it down below but honestly i highly recommend an air fryer like you can make things like this and it's so cute look how thick it is as well i'm just gonna try it and review it on tiktok but i will also give you my thoughts on here as well it looks so good look at it i was also worried about putting parchment paper baking paper in the air fryer but it didn't end up in flames which is like the good thing right so you can put baking paper in the air fryer we have realized today i ate all of the sultanas so it's now sultana less but you will have to go and try this cookie. It's on my TikTok, as I said. Mm-hmm. I also just made myself a matcha so I can take this upstairs. And I'm going to film a planning video, basically, where I show you guys how I do my weekly plan. I'll be planning in real time and I'll just be, like, filming it so you get a very in-depth look at it. And that video yeah we'll be already on my channel i think i don't know it's honestly so crazy how the weather changes your mood instantly i think it's supposed to be sunny this whole week which is so good puts a smile on my face <laughs> i've been thinking about this a lot recently it's not very deep but i'm trying to work out which my favorite season is i really think it's spring and summer but i feel like my favorite season is the season that we're in currently so at the moment i love spring anyway as i said i filmed my planning video and definitely check that out if you want to find out how i weekly plan and also download my weekly plan template Play. I filmed this video quite spontaneously but I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I will leave a link down below in my description box if you want to check it out. Vin. Vin. Basically I got things a bit confused. <laughs> I had a text message yesterday saying that I had an appointment, a laser hair removal appointment tomorrow and I was like so confused because I thought it was next month on this day next month but it turns out to be today so i suddenly had not a panic i was like oh man so basically i was like oh my gosh i need to like 
shave and do everything before so I could have done it today. My appointments are like 4.30 today but I was like I may as well do it yesterday. But yeah I'm currently very cold this morning. I'm just like contemplating getting dressed. I just feel like I've lost a whole layer of insulation. But yeah we have lasers today so we need to go into London. Oh, but anyway, Milka is here, being very affectionate this morning. Oh, Minnie. I'm very glad they send appointment reminders, otherwise I would have- Ow! Milka, she just tried to bite me. What is wrong with this cat? She's so affectionate this morning, yet she just tried to bite me. That's rude, Minnie. We're no longer friends for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> I had such a chill journey into London just reading my book on the train and then I just walked to the Pulse Light Clinic which is where I'm having laser and yeah I mean that wasn't the most chill experience but I did manage to finish conversations with friends on that day and most of that was on the train when I was just reading. I will talk to you a bit about books later in this video and then when I got home I just needed to get on top of some editing and also finish off some proofreading so overall it was a really good day despite not really knowing I was supposed to go into London until like the day before but you know sometimes spontaneity is the best way to do it. It has been a stressful morning. I was sitting at my desk this morning doing so many emails and I had to reschedule so much tutoring because everything was clashing and I just, I just don't feel as if I have enough time. I think as well, I'm thinking about the TED talk at the end of like next week and I haven't finished learning it yet. I still need to learn it, practice it, rehearse it and everything. But you know, I don't want to take on too much early next week especially because I want to focus on my TED talk. I'm very good at casting aside the things that I need to do for myself that don't have like set timings and therefore I will fill that time with like tutoring or other stuff you know when I really need to say like no I need to keep that space and that time free for myself to like learn this TED talk. I just find it so hard to say no to things especially with tutoring when like you guys or students need help it's just it's just so hard i have a package to open anyway also lazy yesterday oh my gosh it was so painful well the strength of the laser is starting to increase so it is getting more painful i mean it's not painful on my armpits most of my legs there are patches on my legs where i can feel it and i'm a bit like oh that's painful that's not very nice my snail trail was fine it's the bikini line and like the pubis area like that area is so painful i felt kind of bad but i was like it's so painful genuinely she started off so fast it was like bleep 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 but i was like i cannot take this level of pain i know it's gonna be worth it and if you're thinking of getting laser don't let the pain put you off like you will deal with it but it's just oh wow i was sweating quite a bit because the towel underneath was just like sticking to me by the end it is still a bit awkward but like i don't really mind anymore just like the people seeing everything um but yeah i also like got completely undressed first of all and i normally just keep my cropped upon and i was like wait no i don't need to do this so i got redressed oh my god anyway oh, oh my god selection of products from holland and barrett look you guys what do we have cranberry and dark chocolate granola that looks so good. Oh, what are these? Trio Biotic Women's Intimate Balance. Okay, what's this? Oh, Trio Biotic. These look really cool. And then what is this? A lavender bath oil. That's a shame. We don't have a bath at the moment. We haven't had a bath for years. Oh, the granola looks good. Oh my God, it has... <gasps> no, it has like chocolate bits in it. Yes. <laughs> when Emily and I went to the vegan surf camp, like two years ago or something over two years ago they had this granola there and it had like chocolate bits in it and it was so good so this looks like it's gonna be like that i'm so excited um but yeah thank you Holland and Barrett. i just put some of the granola in this mug for breakfast let's give it a try there's a chocolate bit it would be nice with like oat milk so it goes a bit soggy this is a cranberry i believe mm. it's good you can never go wrong with granola especially when it has um chocolate in it oh my god you guys today has literally been 
the most emotionally draining day. I genuinely am so exhausted mentally. I was literally in tears before, crying to mum. I was venting to mum about everything just because it's been so intense. I'm drained. There is nothing left in me. Like, I don't feel like I've ever experienced burnout, but I feel like this is getting close to it. I don't feel like crying now. I'm not really in a cry mood before I was, but now I'm just like, I need sleep. I need some food. I need to just finish today. A lot is just happening at the moment. And I was talking to mom, as I said, she was like, you know what, Holly? this traveling might not happen that I've planned. But I'm like, I am adamant that I am gonna be on a plane and I'm gonna be solo backpacking because not only have I been looking forwards to traveling again, I hate it. Like I hate it when I say things or I announce I'm gonna do things and it falls through. I know that I've posted things on my Instagram story previously about things I'm gonna do or videos I'm gonna film and I haven't done that sometimes and that bugs me like nothing else it is such a pet peeve of mine because i'm like if i've said i'm going to do something i want to do it you know i remember all of these things that i don't follow through with because i'm that type of person and with this traveling thing like i am just so excited to travel i've got this itinerary planned i want to do it. i am so excited to do it and if it doesn't go ahead i'm just I'm just gonna feel not like a failure well yes like a failure but I'm just like no it's not gonna fall through it's gonna happen and I need this break as well I need something different I need some change I need that adventure in my life oh right yeah I, I needed to run to you guys I needed to update you guys I'm sorry it's still at my desk I haven't really gone anywhere because today it has literally just been me at my desk trying to do things and the battery levels are flat right now very flat we're gonna start a fresh day tomorrow and it's all gonna be fine in these situations you just need to put one foot in front of the other and it'll be fine so on saturday after i'd got home from an event i was playing catch up because i hadn't been able to work at my desk for a day or so so i needed to do a lot of stuff basically i had to rejiggle quite a bit of tutoring which was kind of stressful but it was okay i'm gonna spare you the stress from that day and then on sunday i actually went into london to do some work and just change up the location i actually filmed this as a whole separate video which is the last one on my channel so you can check that out if you are interested it is thursday the 17th of march i haven't been filming a weekly vlog this week just because i have been focusing on practicing my ted talk rehearsing and getting ready for that essentially so yeah i thought i would just continue this weekly vlog which will go up on Sunday this week after I've given my TED talk and my TED talk video will be coming after this one but yeah I have had a call this morning I have been sleeping in a bit more this week so that I get some extra sleep and I feel very fresh and rejuvenated for Saturday as I said last week I was very forlorn quite stressed very much at the point of burnout and so this week i've tried to pull it back as i said the other day like last week the weather changes your mood instantly like yesterday it was raining all day it was just drizzle and miserable whereas today look at my room it's so bright and it just makes me so much happier sun today friday saturday okay rain sunday but then the sun is coming like we're officially going into spring or oh, are we in spring i don't know it's the 17th of march maybe april is the start of spring i'm not too sure this is the brightness we have flooding into my room which is so good i didn't give you a review of this book when i finished it the other day and yeah conversations with friends i need to return this today because it needs to go back to the library this one i have renewed i liked the book i've definitely never read anything like it before i mean i haven't read that many books right it's kind of about like very fluid relationships and non-monogamy i'm not an expert on this okay i feel like this was sally rooney's first book yeah her debut because i've read normal people as well um she's a really good author i really like the way she writes and yeah i've just started this one i've read the girl on the train i read that ages ago but yeah i really hope this book doesn't give me nightmares so can someone please tell me in advance if i'm gonna get nightmares from this book because it is kind of like a thriller type thing well it is a thriller and yeah i feel like it has a bit of an eerie vibe and if i'm reading this book and i'm gonna get scared then i do not want to be reading it at least on my own in the house but yeah sorry this video is kind of a bit 
fragmented. We have a little bit of a gap and now we are filming today. But I just felt like I need to update you guys and yeah so this run was such a good run it was like a tempo session all the details are on my strava and then when i got back i obviously made myself my post-workout smoothie and then one of my main priorities for early that afternoon was to decide what i was going to be wearing for my telex tool my mirror is so dirty but i'm trying on outfits i have my heel boots these black trouser things this blazer i just I don't know. Just not really sure if I'm vibing with this. This just isn't quite right. I need to go and raid Emily's wardrobe. This is a beautiful top. This is Emily's. Obviously not mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work with this crop top, obviously. I don't think it works with these trousers. Why are you getting the sponsor on? What was I supposed to put on underneath it? Yeah, I don't think it's really me, this top. Anyway. It's not gonna work, is it? This is another of Emily's tops. I think, I think the bottom one is the thing that I like. You don't like them? You need like a wide leg. This makes me look like a Tudor. So we're not wearing this. I can't even do the thing up. It's so complex. I'm glad I started trying to decide early. My backup is the dress. There's a skirt in there that like mini, like not mini, but it's like kind of a um, mini skirt. Japanese kind of print. If I had to rate out of 10 how much I did test trying on clothes and finding outfits, it would not even be on the scale like it would be a million trillion billion wait billion before trillion yeah i genuinely think i'm gonna end up in my green dress which i am gonna be very happy about i know i gave my last talk in cambridge in my green dress but like i know what it feels like to wear that dress you know it could have been my rehearsal and it's so annoying like men guys they wear the same thing like a suit this is the aftermath by the way Yep, I need to sort everything out and just like put it away because I'm not really happy with any of this. I'm on my way to the library and yeah, as I said before, I think I'm going to wear the green dress. I'm pretty certain I'm going to wear it now because as I said, like I've already done a talk in it and I'm not about wearing different outfits all the time. I don't buy a lot of clothes. My wardrobe is not very extensive, but like that's just me i am also kind of sad really frustrated because i haven't managed to get tickets for emily and mum to come and see my telex talk like dad couldn't come because he's working matthew is also working and so yeah emma and mum were gonna come but all of the tickets have sold out there isn't anything i can do about it at this point all the tickets have gone <laughs> but you know yeah it is being recorded so you guys can watch it even if you're not there like everyone will be able to see it but Oh, and the lighting just decides to change again. Come here, good girl. Oh, this is Bali. A lot of you guys ask me how to tell them apart. I'm gonna have to show you in a video probably one day because right now they are too excited. I didn't get any library books because, excuse me, they didn't have the ones I wanted. My two favorite snacks at the moment, my air fried apple, just shove it in the air fryer. And this is the mug cake hack that I tried on TikTok last year. It's so good. It's the easiest mug cake you will ever make. Two ingredients and it tastes so good. I didn't even put it in the microwave today because it just tastes so good like that. Don't judge me before you try it. I have mentioned both of these before, but there's no harm in mentioning them again. So tomorrow I'm traveling to Cambridge. I'm staying overnight and then giving my talk on Saturday. So I've just been doing some packing now. I've also done my rehearsal for the day. So I've been practicing and going through my talk every single day this week, at least twice. I've just done it now with Milka in mom's room. It's just so difficult to know what's gonna happen on the day in terms of like how I'm gonna be feeling. I am obviously gonna be really nervous. I'm gonna like stumble over my words at the beginning, guaranteed, but oh, I'm just really hoping it doesn't happen and I can just hold it together for the duration of my talk. But basically, I wanted to answer the random questions at the end of this video, which I got before. Ew, I have a hair in my mouth, as usual. This question is from my zero waste video where I basically got an odd box and I got this vegetable that's called a kohlrabi. So somebody asked, you don't know what kohlrabi is? No, I genuinely didn't know what this vegetable was until I got it in my odd box the other day. Like I'd never seen it before. I feel like I've tried a lot of different vegetables, but there must be so many others that I still haven't tried and I'd never heard of kohlrabi. I put them in the fridge so they last longer and I tried the first one 
not yesterday, the day before, I put it in my air fryer, but you can also eat it raw. I was looking up how you cook it and it's so nice. I did not expect it to taste like that. It's really crunchy and fresh. Holly tries a YouTube collaboration. This isn't really a question, but you guys have been suggesting ideas for my new Holly tries series. And this one says Holly tries a YouTube collaboration. I've done very few collab videos on my channel most of them have been like vlog style so not dedicated collabs i mean i'm open to doing a collab oh my gosh i almost dropped my phone feel free to drop any suggestions down below like who would you want to see me collab with i have always been so worried to reach out to people to do collabs because i'm like what happens if they don't want to collab with me as much as i'd want to film a video with them it's like the imposter syndrome the social anxiety in me the introvert in me playing out when i think about this but i don't know that could be fun could definitely be fun the final thing i just want to address well verbally address because i have spoken about it in my youtube community post the other day and on instagram it's basically about the cruise ship video that went live on my channel for like a few hours and then i took it down there is so much i want to say in this and i'm not going to be able to say everything but basically, Bob and I went on a cruise ship on Friday into Saturday. It wasn't like a full-on holiday or anything. It was just an event. It was the launch event for a new cruise ship. And I vlogged it, classic me. I made a video and I posted it. But I did get a few comments where people were like, Holly, why are you on a cruise ship? You know, they're really bad for the environment. They're not very sustainable and it just didn't really make too much sense and i in the heat of the moment when i got this invite and you know on the day of the event this didn't cross my mind i am at fault here and it sometimes really frustrates me because i get so caught up in excitement and i'm like wow this sounds so cool and so fun and something new to try and in me vlogging it i didn't want to promote cruise ships necessarily i just wanted to vlog it for the memories and stuff as I do most of the time. But I do understand that in me vlogging it, it could be me indirectly promoting the cruise ship. And yeah, it didn't really make too much sense, you know, in me filming a zero waste video and then posting about a cruise ship. Like I totally understand how that could be seen as me being totally ignorant to the environmental issues associated with cruise ships and just me being tone deaf. You know, and as I said, in the heat of the moment, sometimes I don't think about all of these different perspectives. And it's only when you guys leave comments and you leave your own thoughts that I'm like, oh yeah, I should have really thought more about that. Or maybe I should have put a disclaimer at the start of the video and said like, I'm not promoting cruises. This is just to share experiences and memories. And I try so hard to do so much for this planet. And yeah, I just see how things may have seemed really confusing and they didn't really align and i don't want to convey myself as someone who's promoting cruises and if that video was interpreted in that way by some people then i needed to do something about it and so i did just take the video down because i was just like i feel like that was the best thing i could do it kind of is sometimes a bit sad because i'm like i spent time editing and filming the video like i would love to share those memories with you all and i might rework the content into a video where i talk about environmental issues of maybe cruise ships and stuff so that could be something i do if you'd like to see the video i don't really know what i'm gonna do yet or whether i just leave it but basically i just wanted to emphasize that i am always very open to criticism and you know constructive criticism not hate sometimes it is very difficult to distinguish between hate and constructive criticism especially when it's just online and somebody's just written something but i really do appreciate your opinions and perspectives like i'm always open to that please don't come at me saying that this is such a major issue when it's not like i just wanted to verbally address it but anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video i am gonna finish it here because it's been like a weekly vlog and a half with a gap in the middle i don't know but yeah the next one will be my tedx talk video i am so excited to create that one and i am so nervous as i said but i'm hoping things go to plan definitely like this video if you enjoyed it comment down below if you have any questions or random questions for these weekly vlogs and yeah subscribe if you are new for more content with me having very red ears and yeah hit the bell so you know when i upload and as always i will speak to you very soon in another video bye
There is also a mark on my camera screen. I'm really sorry, like what is going on? Look at this blue sky, by the way. Such a nice day. Such a nice day. Ooh, okay. Oh, caught weeing. <laughs> Literally, um, Milka. We have cat acrobatics every single day at the moment. Milka, it also really hurts because she's clawing me everywhere. Oh, Milka, I'm trying to write emails. You want to read the bullet journal? You want to read it? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Still not budging? Let's increase the strength of the earthquake on the Richter scale. <gasps> oh, that did the trick. <laughs>